Hi there, Joka here. And in this video, I'm sharing my projects with this Pipebinders May 2024 small die kit. This month, my favorite one is definitely this kit because I adore these little birds and Toucan is one of my um, favorite birds. So I was really happy about this kit. And you will see that there is a few parts to each bird. So you can actually create really colorful uh, projects, which was my goal. Uh, at this point, when I first opened the kit, I never know what piece, well, a lot of the pieces I, I don't know. So I always have to look at the PDF, but I believe you guys also get when you sub to the kits. I just need to see what part um, is supposed to go where. Oh, and in the meantime, I also got a few new uh, products, one of them being this um, set of two fine line uh, bottles. As you can see, you can fill it with 30 milliliters of glue. And I decided, um, so, well, I have one problem with it. This um, needle that comes with the barely yard glue is perfect for this fine line uh, bottle as well but it does not come with needles and the other uh, fine line bottle that I have and has that needle is much thicker so I will have to see um, if this bottle works with uh, without the needle because you know sometimes the tip um, well, the glue gets hard, and if there's no needle, then that was it. But um, it does have a lid, so maybe it's going to be okay. Now, what I decided to do, one of them I filled with three of these Gina K um, Connect glues that I, I had plenty of, and I did not use it because they have a tip that I, I didn't like. And in this fine line bottle, it's just going to work much better. And the, I also have this new uh, crystal uh, glaze that I never use. So I decided to put the this one in the other, other bottle and I actually will use this. I'm not even sure because I bought this so long ago. I'm not even sure if this product or what it's supposed to be used for. Um, or... The other thing I'm not sure about is if it's supposed to be this yellow because mine is not yellow or maybe it's yellow because it's so old. <laughs> I think I probably bought it at least six years ago. Anyway, so I'm going to test those bottles um, as we go. And now I'm going to put together all my birds. And as you can see, I die cut everything from a bunch of different colors and of course if you want them to be colorful then you have to die cut a lot of pieces but uh, that also means that i'm going to end up with a lot of birds so not only these two so uh in the end i ended up with four cards i was only planning to make two but you know i cannot waste anything now i did realize later that i uh, did not put the pieces together well. So the the two cans, um, this white spot uh, around the eyes, it actually should go under the um, the beak. So then it lines up better. In my case, I kind of had to trim the body a little to, to make it fit. So um, I only noticed this at the very last one that I put together. So... Um, but otherwise, they are really, really easy to, to figure out um, how to put them together. And then the tail here, um, the tail feathers, you can place them multiple ways, I think. Um, I decided to just have them point downwards because uh, the little bird is going to sit on a tree branch. So I don't know. I just felt like... That's going to be good. And um, I'm putting together these uh, heart leaves. Now, I did see other projects where the leaves are pink, but I, 
so I, I'm a bit uncertain, but I think they are leaves. So I'm just keeping them green. Um, and at this point, I don't know how I'm going to use them yet. Now, um, I want to emboss a few panels. This uh, embossing folder is actually the 3D um, embossing folder kit this month. It's beautiful, tropical design. Actually, you know, my favorite projects to, to make are Christmas cards and then tropical themed ones. I don't know why, why there's something about those. So I was really, really happy for this month's kits. And this background is just beautiful as well. So I created two different uh, size cards and the sentiments I chose uh, are from last month's small die kit, these stitched uh, sentiments. Now, I, as you know, I skipped last month, so I did not use those kits. Um, and it, they were still on my desk, so I thought then I might as well use the sentiments since I have space on my cards. And I, I'm creating two cards that are mini slimline um, format. I believe it's uh, six and a quarter by three and a quarter uh, inches in size. And then I will also make two large five by seven inch cards. So I'm not sure about the sentiments. They are stitched, so it's kind of busy in a way, together with my background, but that is going to be the reason why I'm um, choosing like a tone-on-tone -tone look. So I, I die cut the sentiment from the same color as the background, just so that it's not so busy, if that makes sense. But maybe it's not so visible uh, either, I don't know. But I thought that would be the best. And honestly... Of course, I could have used some other sentiments, but I I really did not have time to clean up my uh, space, uh, which I really should do because I don't find anything anymore. Um, so I'm always using the sentiments that are closer to me, that are still on my desk or, you know, because otherwise I would spend hours on trying to look for something. I know it should be done, but these last months have been difficult. Um, and that was not my priority. Anyway, this is why I'm using those sentiments. So I hope I made make them work. And then I'm going to add some leaves to my um, branch and some flowers and... Uh, I'll use enamel dots for the flower center. And it was so lucky this weekend. Um, my, um, oh, sorry, I'm going to get back to it. So this is another set that I got recently that I haven't used yet. So I wanted to create something with it. And I'm going to work around this. So the, the, the shape anyway. Um, I'm going to use some greenery to kind of mark that um, focal point on my card, so to say. Um, and what I wanted to say is that my husband uh, flew in my cousin and my niece as a surprise for my birthday. And uh, my niece is seven. So <laughs> she saw these cards and she was like, oh, my God, they are so cute. So now she's taking all of them with her. Um, also the large die kit uh, cards. So I'm really happy that, um, you know, that somebody is going to use my cards now. So, yeah, I don't know why I said that, but it's just some random thought I'm happy about. Uh, so this weekend is, uh, I'm really like distracted because um, I'm actually doing these voiceovers while they went for a walk. Um, so basically, again, I'm <laughs> instead of working, I'm doing something else. But anyway, um, these, as I promised, I will deliver these on the day that they should be. I'm in the video. So um, this is the only work I'm going to do this weekend. So um, as you can see, I'm adding some foliage, a bit like 
at the bottom of this shape. I actually don't know what to call that shape. Um, but I'm just trying to follow the curve. And I die cut a bunch of these little flowers from different pinks. And as you can see, that's also, I don't know if it's a new product, but uh, Spabandus has these uh, 3D foams, uh, foam um, adhesives that are strips. And as you can see, there are different widths on it. And I'm using the one of these um, small ones to to cut a bunch of squares that I can use for my tiny flowers. You can see that those flowers are quite small, so you need really small um, foam adhesive for those. And since these leaves here are not symmetrical, so there's basically all of them are um, bent the same way, they are not going to be following the same curve. Uh, on the left, they are perfect. On the right, they are not perfect, but I think I'm just going to, to make them work <laughs> that way. So it's not kind of... Um, I didn't want to make that symmetrical, if that makes sense. So it's uh, um, the two on the right and a bit further up, um, if that makes sense. And I didn't like... Uh, that you could see the end of those um, vines or I don't even know what to call it. So I kind of close them with the flowers. You, I, I hide the stem behind the flowers if you can see that. And then that's uh, finished. Now, I don't remember where this one is from, if it's from a collection. It's, maybe it's from a collection, this... Um, um, embossing folder. This is just a normal embossing folder. And I thought it also matches my um, theme this month. So just to use something different from the other products that I used. And I still had so many of these birds that I wanted to put four on, on, this, uh, on this card. And... Um, yeah, well, they will just all sit on a um, branch. Now, this one is an older glimmer and dye combo that I already uh, created many, many months ago. And then I'm just using a ready-made sentiment. As you can see, the color is not exactly right, but I think it will work. Now, um, normally, I don't like to put... Um, not just critters, but anything like even on scrapbook layouts, photos. I don't like to... Now, okay, this is going to be really hard to explain for me. <laughs> okay, so the top two, the, the top two birds are, for my eyes, in the right position. The bottom two are, for me, entirely wrong because they kind of look out, out of the center, you know, like... <laughs> To me, the, the 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 left bird should look to the right, and the right bird should look to the left. I don't know how to explain this <laughs> better, um, but since these are not well, there's only one die, right, for all of them, and I don't like to use the wrong side of any die cut because it's ugly. Um, it's just gonna be like this. I mean, I'm not sure yet if. It kind of bothers my eyes or not, but normally I avoid this entirely. Um, like if I have a photo, not that I scrapbooked in years, but uh, if I had a photo where my kid looks to the right, then I'm never going to put that photo on the right side of the scrapbook layout. I don't know why. It just bothers me. And um, it's the same concept here, but again... As I explained, um, I couldn't figure out the better way to use them. So I just kind of randomly placed them. Just nothing is symmetrical. And in fact, in the end, I realized that I think I have a bit too much white space at the bottom. But um, as I was working on it, I didn't really see that. Sometimes I only see things when I photograph them or in the video or not in the moment 
But again, it's just cards. I guess they don't have to be perfect. The little girl is super happy with them anyway, so that's all that matters. And of course, I had to add some flowers to that. So here's the crystal glaze, and that's what I was saying, that it's kind of yellow. And I tried to add it to the eye, and I actually like that look, so that's what I'm going to do with all the cards now. I'm going to add um, that glaze on on top. Oh, and this green background card I made as an extra, but it, since it's almost the, exactly the same as this one on the right, I did not put it in the video because it would just be um, repetitive. And so I'm adding some glaze to the eyes and I will have to set that aside. I think I had it um, set aside for the night. I don't know how fast it dries. I didn't actually check it after, but it was um, dry the next day for sure. Um, with this uh, fine tip thing, this bottle, it was actually so easy to add um, the glaze to that really tiny area. So I do, I do love um, fine line bottles and I've been using the Barely Art glue for years and it also has the fine line um, tip. So I'm actually happy that now I have different products in different bottles so I can uh, finally use them. I did not try the Gina K glue yet, but um, I will because I bought so many of those. It would be nice if I could, you know, if, if I wasn't so wasteful. So um, long story short, here are the cards. I hope I can give you some ideas with this month's kit. And I hope you love these uh, little critters as much as I do. I think they are sweet and I think they don't have to just uh, be given to kids because I think any adult would be happy to see something colorful and sweet. Um, I know I would. It makes me smile. So anyway, I hope you like uh, these kids as well. Thank you very much for watching and I hope, you, uh, hope to see you next month. Bye-bye.